Holy cow, you guys, we just came home to this. This is not good at all. I have to show you, my son's like, oh, go check on the anemone. You may want to move it away from the filter because it's right by the filter. It's sucked up into the filter as we speak, you guys. I have no idea if this thing's alive or not. I literally just had to grab my camera. I had to cut off the filter flow so we can go ahead and see if this little anemone is still alive. I cannot believe this. Yes, this is every horror story of getting an anemone and having either a wave maker, which I chose not to have in this tank for the specific reason. We did not put a wave maker in this tank. We simply just used a little submersible power flow head and just put it up there. That's it. So it has no way of sucking this thing up. We just put this new filter in here and yes, it does have a good cover on it. However, it still got sucked up. How did that even happen? It seems to be actually climbing out of, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right. I'm going to get in here. I'm going to try to push the anemone out. I cannot believe this. Is it okay? Is it okay? I know even the clownfish. The clownfish is not leaving it alone. It wants to go back in it. I think the anemone's okay. You guys, I think the anemone's okay. I think it's alive. It seems to be well. Oh, I honestly cannot believe this just happened. I cannot believe it. It's actually coming out slowly. Slowly. Oh man, oh, I gotta dry my hands so I can touch the camera here. This is insane. This just freaked me out. This is a bubble tip anemone. And if you guys know anything about a bubble tip anemone, these are not the cheapest anemones. Oh my goodness. You can find these anemones anywhere from 50 plus. So yeah, it's not the cheapest anemone, it's huge. We are upgrading the tank two in the next week and a half or so. Come on guys, be patient. I have no idea. The light is super sufficient. This is the first time we've had this anemone now for almost two months. The first time it even left this rock. We have a nice set of live rock right here in the center. The only thing I think that could be possibly disturbing it, maybe slightly, is we do hear clicks in this tank at night too. And those clicks, obviously, are going to be one of two things. It's going to be another mantis shrimp or it's going to be a baby pistol shrimp. Oh, you goodness. Oh, look at you. Look at you. How beautiful. Yep, you're probably the boy and the possessive, possessive mama-to-be you are. I can guarantee. This is her anemone all day. But, oh man, I'm still going to try to make effort here to clarify if the anemone is okay or not. I think it is. I think it is. I want to be extremely gentle, and I'm going to try to... Oh, let's see. Can you just get out? Can you get out of there? It's pinched a little bit. So, let me see. It's wrapped around the bottom. I don't even know how it got up in there. I don't know how. It's going to have to literally move its way out on its own. It's wedged way up there too much. But this anemone is definitely alive because it's making its way down out of this filter stuck situation. You guys, this is insane. This is way too much stress for me to come home to because right now I just finished filming us moving a crab out of the mantis shrimp tank. This is all live, people. This is happening all at the same time. Two videos, two fishy mayhem situations all at the same time right now. Oh my goodness, so many mixed emotions. I'm just glad to see, and yes, this anemone definitely could be a little bit injured at its foot base too, because the foot is very important for this anemone to keep a healthy foot so it can stick, and it can stick to live rocks and kind of bind itself to different surfaces, and it chose to go up on the side of the tank today and up into the filter. Oh goodness. Comment below if you've ever lost an anemone to a wave maker, if you've ever lost an anemone to a situation like this, or if you've also had an anemone that just simply didn't recover from something like this. I don't know. This is my first time dealing with this, with this anemone particularly, so, oh man. Oh my goodness. But it's slowly making its way out of the filter. That's the only thing I'm finding positive about this. That's it. Come on. Come on. Come on. I'm just going to let it be. I'm going to leave the flow off for a while. I just hope it's not too overly pinched shut in there. It seems to be like... Uh... So what I'm going to do right now is just pull this up lightly. This is the only thing securing the anemone. 
two. Okay, so see, the anemone's fully stuck right here. Oh, man. So, we have the anemone. AJ, you want to grab the camera real quick? Yes. All right, so my son's going to help me, okay? He's going to hold the camera right here, and we're going to go ahead and unpinch the anemone. Oh, you poor little guy. I hope you're still good and alive. You can see a lot that was it was damaged up here too, but I'm just going to go ahead and try to pull this out right here. And I'm going to let it crawl out on its own. Jeez, it really got nice and sucked up there. All right, so what I did is just took this off, which is just basically a part of the filter. Now I'm going to let it just find a way off of this, back down, where it belongs by its rock. That's it. That is it. Why couldn't you have done this earlier? Why couldn't you have done this earlier? I'm going to pin this down with this rock really quick. And it's going to eventually find its way. Oh my goodness. And it's closing up, which is a sign of life. Ugh. I'll tell you what, if this wasn't a fishy situation, I don't know what is. Excellent filming. Daddy's taking over the camera now. Good job. All right. So that's it. I'll keep you posted. Stay tuned for the next video, please, and check on this anemone because this was not good at all. I just wanted to share this situation with you guys of what could happen. This is the first situation that's happened. We've had this anemone for several months now, and it has its foot caught in that filter right there. Hopefully it makes its way out and crawls back up to the rock. But the only way we'll know is if you guys check into the next video, hit that notification bell button, make sure it's turned on so it alerts you when we post our next video. Say some prayers for this anemone. As always, stay adventurous. A1A. Whew. Adventure.